Hello and welcome to our Great British Finned Friend sightings video for February. The first five days of February were mild in the south, cold in the north and unsettled, followed by a very cold easterly spell with heavy snowfalls in some areas. It turned much milder for the second half of the month and wetter in most areas with frequent strong winds from the 13th to the 24th before a quieter anti-cyclonic spell arrived for the last few days. Covid restrictions continued throughout the UK, limiting visits to the coasts for many people. A total of 136 sightings were reported to us, comprising seven cetacean species. As always, harbour porpoises were the most frequently spotted species, as well as the most widely distributed. They occurred from the Shetland Isles to the north, in West Cornwall, East Kent and Jersey Island in the south. Numbers were always small, usually four or less individuals in a group, with the maximum reported being eight in Yell Sound, Shetland. Bottlenose dolphins were also reported from several locations. In the Irish Sea, sightings were scattered, reflecting the wide dispersal of animals we customarily see during winter. The most interesting record was a group estimated to number around 50 animals off St Anne's Head, West Pembrokeshire. It is unusual to see large groups of bottlenose dolphins south of Cardigan Bay. Other sightings in the Irish Sea were of groups of less than 10 off the end of the Llyn Peninsula in northwest Wales and around the Isle of Man. In southern England, there was a sighting of a group of five at Goodrington Bay, South Devon, and several sightings of groups typically of 20 to 40 animals at various locations in the Channel Islands, including Jersey, Guernsey, Alderney and Herm. Along the east coast, small bottlenose dolphin groups, usually less than 10, were seen in the Moray Firth, around the Aberdeen and Angus coasts, as far as Flamborough in Yorkshire. Finally, there was a sighting also of a small group in Orkney which is unusual. During the month, we had only two confirmed sighting reports of common dolphins sent to us. One of two individuals in the Bristol Channel at Portishead in Somerset and a group of about 50 in Fermain Bay in Guernsey. At this time of year, most sightings of common dolphins in the UK are in the English Channel. Unusually for February, there were eight sightings of white-beaked dolphin in coastal waters, two in Sullum Vaux, Shetland, probably of the same two individuals, and one of three individuals at Howick, Northumberland. Risso's dolphin is another species that is rarely reported in winter, but during the month there was a sighting of a pod of 12 west of Borough in Shetland, and a single individual at St Martin's Point in Guernsey. These sightings emphasise the value of winter watching to build up a better picture of the presence of some of the less common species. Killer whales or orcas continued to be spotted regularly from many localities in Shetland, probably the same pod, typically numbering eight individuals. The rise in interest of orcas in these islands almost certainly has contributed to the increased frequency of records. No minke whales were reported during February, but there were several sightings of humpback whales. One individual was repeatedly seen off Kinghorn in Fife and around Inchcolme in the Firth of Forth between the 1st and the 20th of the month, after which it was believed to move south, where sightings of up to two whales were seen off the Northumberland coast at Craster and off Colonos Point between the 24th and 28th. Elsewhere, two humpbacks were seen at Echner Loch Bay in Orkney on the 17th, whilst at the other end of the British Isles, one was seen near Watchet, East Pier in Somerset on the 11th. Spring is just around the corner, and as COVID lockdown eases, we can expect a rise in sightings from March onwards, so keep a lookout. If you want to support our work, then please visit our website, adoptadolphin.org.uk. Or perhaps you'd be interested in our family membership. Please visit www.seawatchfoundation.org.uk. Have a good month.